and welcome back everybody to Let's Play King's Quest, A Night to Remember. Uh, now I wanted to check out the area over here. Why did you want to work for the Kingdom of Daventry anyway? I guess I saw that is a good question. in it. It certainly wasn't the kingdom you know today, but I've never shied away from a creative project. Well, alrighty then. That, that's, that's, that's very nice of you, Graham. So let's find out what's on the other side of this here. I still have the gold coin, but I don't know what to... No, this is Ulfie's. And there's another one on the other side there that... Yeah, it's on the other side of the forest here. Which means I'm gonna have to whip out my lantern. That's that's not a euphemism. That's that's I actually have I, I do have a lantern, remember. I still have oh a beast eye, a fruit picker, color changing, walnut strudel sign uh I have cushiony socks. Okay. Break out the lantern. Because the wolves don't like the light. Alright, just don't trip over anything, because if you drop your lantern, they're going to come and eat you. Yes, put it away. Yep, okay, and it is, uh, Pilar's mouthpiece. Alright, stick it in there, Graham. Pilar. Oh, hey, Pilar. You seem refreshed. I was just enjoying the most lovely glass of cheese. But glass? No, this is much more important. A glass? Ooh. Actual paved road. All right. Oh. Oh, that's the king. Sounds. That's the, the castle. Is a moat monster? Did you yes. train him? Did he do tricks? What was his favorite treat? Was he a fresh or seawater monster? <laughs> No, Gwendolyn. This part of the story is merely foreshadowed. That means I have to wait, doesn't it? Yes. I'm afraid so. Okay. Um, is there anything to do here? No, it does not seem like it. Okay. So... Okay, so we gotta look at the castle, which is nice, but that's not really of any importance. Dap, dap, dap. I hope you clean your shoes. I'm sure you're tracking Wetzel droppings all across my back. I most certainly am not. All right, back with the light. Yes, run. Run before my gigantic blue light. I get... I, we have to be getting to the... Close to the end of this. I, this one is... It's actually... It's been fairly... It's a fairly lengthy game for for a chapter game. This is actually no, don't go back. This is actually a pretty lengthy game for the the chapter style. So they're ticked about heavy and hard boots. Um, is it down here where I need to go? Because I. Oh, hi. Um. You could say the squirrels in Daventry are a bit nuts. <laughs> well, that's just rude. You could. That. That's death by squirrel. I just witnessed death by squirrel. Okay. Fine. How about a peace offering? I hope By the you way, find this Walt. to your liking, Princess it's Madeline like massive, of Avalon. Massive! Massive strudel! The tension between the Bridge Troll Guild and the Royal Guards is at an all-time high, 
and we need to come to an agreement soon. You bridges need to stop stonewalling us and give us your demand. Hey. I have no time to listen to additional opinions. We need these bridges to get back to work. Okay. We need you to watch your step when crossing our backs. Give more respect to the giant whose shoulders you're stomping. Ooh, how about these? For me? Yes, you. Oh, they feel as though I am walking on clouds. And the craftsmanship, stunning. Can you order yep. one pair for each of the royal guards? Mm, well, it does look soft and cuddly, but that's not accounted for in your mandate. I could create an addendum for that. We could still sharpen our boots and march as we wish, but these socks would protect you. Ah, oh, gee, True? that would just be the best. A real compromise that we could all live with. I think that's exactly what you should do. Yeah. Thanks, Graham. The guild will never forget this. I See sure they you won't. at the next meeting. The new socks soften the guards' souls. It was definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> I'm warming up to these. I'm just glad the trolls never had to suffer the agony of defeat. Okay, that's just... Okay, so I still have, like... Alright. What are we playing? We're playing Duel of Wits, the board game. Hey guys. Sit down. Let's begin. We'll be watching from here. Ah, I got the best view in the house. I bet you do. Welcome, friends, okay, to the fine. championship duel of wits. Well, yes. the take home version. Budget cuts or something. But uh, look around, take it all in, and know. We've already won. Our True. Our guarantees us both a spot on King Edward's court. How exactly is this going to work? <laughs> Before we get to the rules, I offer a toast and an opportunity. Okay. See, while this game might stretch the imagination, for some I find it rather simple and in need of an additional mental challenge. Guards, the raisin juice, please. <laughs> this is my favorite game. Well, it's been a long time since I last played it. Are you familiar with hypnotic powder? No. One sip of this, and you'll have to do everything I say. And, of course, vice versa. Oh, come In on. Goes the powder. Guard really? Two, if you would. Definitely. Okay, yes. And this hmm. is the guy that was I'll in The Princess one. Bride. Cheers. Oh, Whoa. crap. Looks like you got the winner. Thanks, Manny. You're supposed to be and my now friend. we play. So, the goal of the Duel of Wits is to hit your opponent's pawn with an arrow by moving these pieces around the board. Okay. Your pawn will fire an arrow after you move. I'll okay. Go first. After I move this shield, watch how the arrow bounces off the shields and around the board. Ah, okay. So you're going to move them over there, and it should bounce there, there, and boom. Now it's your turn, Graham. Yep. <laughs> Not to sound like a royal guard, but as an additional rule, you can't move a shield your opponent moved on his previous turn. Okay. Will you please move the lower left shield to your left. Oh, and because I'm of the so potion, I have no choice. We'll be working in the castle together, Graham. Shut and up. if I ever become king, you'll make an excellent advisor. I'll move this shield, and they'll all have to accept it's what's on the inside that counts. Uh huh. Okay, and ping ping. Addendum. <laughs> you can move and rotate your pawn to change the direction you shoot. That's great. Will you please rotate your pawn clockwise? Okay, fine. Your arrow will always fire in the direction you're facing. I do hope right. you realize all the planning I did to get us here. I'll just yeah, rotate yeah. this shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now he's ding, ding, ding. Well, Looks like the hypnosis powder is wearing off. Make any yep. move you want. Not that it matters. Um. 
What if we... Can we rotate this guy? Oh, no. He just moved that. Right. Um... Let's move him this way, then. See if we can pull this out. Huh. Looks like my intelligence has reigned supreme. What? Oh, crap. Crappy doodles. Ding. Boom. And I'm dead. Guards! Guards! I've won! Please review the winning board. We have to do something. Graham is about to lose. Ha ha ha! Really? Seriously? You all, all right. know I won. Apologies, sir, but Decree 3214 specifically states that all dual victories must be witnessed and verbally notarized by a royal guard, such that it can be recorded for posterity in our tournament record. Unfortunately, the board was compromised before a final notary could be given. Therefore, this victory is nullified, and another game must be played. We really are sorry, Aww, and assure you will be able Manny. to achieve victory once again. You are the most ridiculous guards I've ever encountered. No matter. Merely a delay in my ascent to knighthood. I'm ready to beat you again whenever you're ready. The cops. I have to do something with the cops. But how do I make sure that one of them is... No. No. Not the guards. The cops. Yes. Color changing potion. So now one of them is going to be white. And I can and if he puts it in the white, I know not to take the white. If it doesn't put it in the white, I know to drink the white. But anyway, I have a feeling that's going to have to wait until the next episode cuz we're already at 12 minutes and I don't think we can play a full game in just 2 minutes. So, as always, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more from Ola Productions. Cheerio. Up the poopa. Up the poopa. After taking out the clones, 47 decides to fake his own death and retire as a gardener in a Sicilian church.